Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another session of data structures and algorithms using C++. My name is Dr. Bilal Wajid. In today's lecture, we're going to see a straightforward method of how to declare, initialize, and pass two-dimensional arrays. So this is how you declare an array and then initialize it using these curly brackets. And in two-dimensional arrays, you just put two square brackets, one determined the number of rows and the other one the number of columns here each row is separated by a comma and obviously once the whole declaration is made you put the semicolon now if you want to pass this on to another function this is uh, the way this is one such function here integer r, r represents rows, c represents columns, and integer array a, square bracket, and then square bracket within that four. Notice what we are really doing in the main function. We're just calling out this function with three rows, four, wo four columns, and passing out d. If you notice here, d does have three rows and four columns, so that's why we're doing that. But over here, we are not doing an implicit declaration as the one we used previously. In fact, we are keeping this 4 here. Now, C++ allows you, as long as if it's just a single dimensional array, to just keep the first one empty, but you can't do it with two of them. So in C++, you do have to tell what is this. You have to tell how many columns there are. Otherwise, it will give you an error. So a limitation to this method, which is a rather straightforward and easy approach, is that you have fixed size arrays. And that's not very useful. You really want a solution whereby which any array of two-dimensional variable size, it could be 2 by 2 or 2 by 10 or 3 by 10 or 3 by 50 or whatever it is. You want to have that variability, but this particular method doesn't really allow you to do that. But let's just have a look at this method. Here you have i, which goes for the number of rows, j, which goes for the number of columns. We can see here ranging from 0 to c, and we can see i here ranging from 0 to r. And then you just print this one by one. Okay? Now, the solution to having this fixed size array problem is to really use pointers. And we're going to see that in the next lecture. But for now, let's just go to cpp.shell and run this code and see how it works. So this is our, this is our main function. I've actually made uh, this, uh, this is d. And here I'm calling out, passing this d as an array. And here it's this function as we've seen in the slides so when I run this right so when I run this you can see here um, I guess the whole array gets printed right now in the next lecture we're actually going to do this using pointers um, it's strongly recommended to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can see the notifications in your YouTube feed do uh, look at the next lecture because that is where the real power lies. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.